hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be guiding you on how to get your task identification number so if you are new on upwork or if you just got your first gig on upwork see that it is requested for you to get your tax identification number before you can you know draw your money from your upwork account to any account of your choice so you remember i told you that in this space all i do is i'll be sharing with you my data analyst journey as i'm transitioning from the nursing career path into the data analytical career field and in my last video i shared with you that i got my first job on upwork right so my client has paid me and when i was about to withdraw my money from upwork i saw that i had to put in my task identification number before i can make withdraw her so in this video i'll be showing you or i'll be guiding you on how i went about to get my tax identification number it's a uh, simple and a straightforward process you don't have to pay money to anybody and you can do this with your phone you can do this on your phone okay so this is the current uh, method you can get your tax identification number so remember to like and subscribe to this youtube channel without wasting time let's dive right into it so for tax identification number it depends on the state you are residing in in nigeria each state has their own portal where you can use in getting your tax identification number so for example for me i reside in abuja so to get my tax identification number we have to go to tax portal dot fct dot gov dot ng so if you are residing in any other state you just have to you know go online and check which um portal link your own state is currently using so but if you reside in abuja then you can go ahead and use this link that i'll be dropping also in the de in the description section of this video okay so what you have to do now is you once you click on that link it's going to take you to this page and what you can do now is to um, determine what taxpayer type you want to um, register under so you have the individual and corporate so I'll be registering under the individual I've already done this I already have my own tax identification number so I just want to show you the process okay so I'll click on individual then it will show you means of identification and you have to click on your national identity number so the next thing you click on manual entry so that you can fill in your details so once I click on manual entry I can go ahead now and put in my name and click on continue okay so once you fill in your NIN it's going to take you to this page showing you some of your details and you can now go ahead and click on verify identity now it's going to take you to this page called the lifeliness verification and all you have to do is to put your face so that it takes you your picture so click on take picture and go ahead so when you are done with this it's supposed to take you to a next page where you are just going to go ahead and fill all your details right and that's the final thing as you are done with that it's going to tell you that um your registration will be completed and an email is going to be sent to your email which you use in registry and that email is going to be containing your tax identification number so currently because i have um, already done mine i cannot go ahead to further create another account okay so i was previously using my siblings details to do this but i can't use my face to you know verify uh liveliness verification so that's why i have to stop at this point but let me go ahead and show you the email i got when i did mine so once you you've done with that you are going to get this email that shows you welcome to fct irs tax portal and it's going to show you your give your tax identification number it's also going to show you your username and it will ask you to you know change your password once you log in so that's how i went about getting my tax identification number this uh, method is straightforward in less than 10 minutes you're able to generate your tax identification number and also if you are having issues when you are trying to generate your tax identification number you can also send an email to this um, email address so you can send an email to this email address which is contact us at fctirs.gov.ng once you send them um, an email they will reply you within the shortest 
period of time like it's so efficient and straightforward like this was when before i did mine i sent them an email and they sent me this reply email giving me the steps to follow on how to be able to get my tin number so that brings us to the end of this video i will also be dropping a call line under this video description section where you can also use to reach out to the fct irs center in case you want to place a call to them but i assure you is a simple and a short process and you don't have to call anybody or send an email just follow the process i showed you and you're able to get your tin number and once you are done with that you can now go back to upwork and fill in your tin number okay so that brings us to the end of this video bye for now and see you in my next video